Hey guys, Artosis here, bringing you more cast reviews in Rockstar League. This is Group G from the round of 32, and this is the winner's match. And it's on a hilarious map for a hilarious matchup. Uh, we are on Neo Arkanoid, which is a semi-island map. Uh, there's a ton of buildings that block everything in the center. I'm sure you guys will remember all the temples that are up. It takes a long time to chew through all these, so it's kind of an island map to start. Uh, and that's kind of wild for this Zerg vs. Zerg. I have a feeling it's, pr like, I've seen a lot of people recently, because Neo Arkanoid kind of came back in the map pool uh, for ASL. A lot of people were just doing rushes where they break down the buildings in the center. Uh, but I could see this just being a rush to Mutas as well. So we'll see about that. But anyways, to introduce our players, this is Fengji, uh, the Chinese pro gamer. Uh, he did a great job of taking down Ample in a very solid and sturdy Zerg vs. Terran. And then we have Art User up here at the top right. Uh, Art User just kind of destroyed True. Uh, he made way more lings <laughs> and then killed him with Mutas. Yay, ZVZ. All right, so Pool first coming down right now from Art User. And here comes his gas as well. Uh, no big surprise here. And what are we going to see from Fengji? Is he going to go for an expansion? Yeah, it looks like... No, no, never mind. Goes ahead, throws down that pool just a little bit later. So it's like more of a 12 pool versus an over pool. Uh, the timing on this is not very different. It's about 20 seconds difference, uh, which does translate to uh, like 100 gas. Uh, you mine about 300 gas per minute out of a geyser, so... Uh, I guess, you know, we'll be just slightly, slightly ahead on our user as far as the tech goes. And it should be right into layer, I would imagine. Like, I guess you could go Zergling speed right away, but I think you'd want to time out your Zergling speed upgrade, more likely, with uh, arriving near your opponent's base. <laughs> uh, anyways, there is that very, very fast layer. And we'll see that relatively soon from Fengxi as well. So... This is going to be kind of a funny one. Like, uh, Zerg vs. Zerg on maps like this, it really does come down to, like, for instance, how quick your mutas are. Like, let's say that your mutas are a little bit quicker and you can get down there. You might even bring Scourge, because if your opponent's mutas haven't hatched and you sit to Scourge over the egg, when the muta pops out, it will just die. Uh, there's no micro or anything to get that out of there. So, you you know, that's that can be something that's, like, a, a bit game-ending. Now, both sides going to go ahead and expand towards a gas. They only care about gas, of course. So, like, these chrysalis don't even matter. You don't even need a hatchery there. This is going to be as close to the gas as it would be over here. Same here. And this is why they expanded to these bases. So, uh, it's kind of a funny thing. Because, like, you never get enough drones to mine the minerals anyways. Like, you're always going to be mining it very close to peak efficiency for Zerg. Because you just don't need that many minerals. So... Uh, the Spire is coming up, and of course, Fengji's is going to be coming up shortly here as well. Notice that with his build, he is just slightly up on that drone count. It's a couple drones uh, in addition. Of course, no lings to be made, so it's one of the higher economy Zerg vs. Zergs that you could hope for. <laughs> this, is such a, this is such a funny thing on this map, honestly. Like, Neo Arkanoid gives some crazy games. More recently, it has been almost all rushes, which almost, it's like counterintuitive because normally you think of maps like this where it takes a long time to actually get to your opponent as maps where you should macro up because you've got this kind of like added defense. But really, people have just been, been cheesing on this map, being as aggressive as they possibly can be. And, you know, I wonder, like, it feels to me like this is a map where we could theoretically see a late game Zerg vs. Zerg. It's something that Tasis and I talk about a lot because it's such a rare a rare thing. Uh, like I've mentioned when, when, when it does come up, the last game that, that got legitimately out of mutas between two pros was in, it was in a KSL qualifier and it was like, so how long ago was that? 2018 or something so it's been it's been like at least four years i would say since we've seen that happen that's which is insane right like there's so many zerg vs zerg plays but a map like this where you're both powering super super hard you have much higher drone counts and you're gonna start getting a ton of gas like maybe you could see that here 
Cuz someone's going to have to someone's going to have to like dive or make a mistake or something uh, uh to to actually finish this game off and it feels like theoretically maybe you're supposed to just kind of sit back and if you're sitting back then it gets harder and harder uh to actually get those finishing blows and and maybe you do get beyond that tech so we'll see anyways it's all me just kind of guessing and got to point out here that fengji is getting plus one air attack uh obviously carapace is much better in muta versus muta but this shows us that he's going to go highly aggressive it costs 50 less gas and 50 less minerals than the armor uh, but obviously, you know, the attack is still a good upgrade. Now, here we go. <laughs> this is, it's starting. All right, the game is starting. We've been in this game over five minutes, and finally, we're going to get some action here. A lot of meters on both sides. Here comes Art User. He's trying to come in. He's got a lot of Scourge there. Oh, my God. Some very good micro from Fengji. All right, so seven mutas against ten, but there are a lot of Scourge. This is kind of insane. Yeah, really nothing but mutas right now. And, I mean, we shouldn't really see anything but mutas right now. So this is a full group from Fengji. And don't forget, he's got that plus one attack upgrade on the way. When that finishes, his mutas are legitimately so much better. Uh, and again, the, the armor upgrade is more powerful, but it, plus one is fantastic. When you're doing units versus units and they're the same thing, whoever has upgrades is going to do better. All right, so Art User right now, he has made a lot of Scourge. Like a very, very serious amount of Scourge. So what probably is going to happen here is Art User is going to start attacking with his Mutas, and then he's going to bring the Scourge in. And because of Moving Shot, it's going to be very hard for Fengji to do anything against that. Tries to get that Overlord, doesn't quite get it. Fengji pushes him off. Oh God, here we go. Here come all the Scourge. And oh my God, Fengji just has more Mutas. Like, look at this. I think he's just... I think he's just doing better right now. Look at that. Oh, my God. An art user. His plan absolutely not working. 11 mutas against zero? Okay, so Fengji just dominated. Just dominated this group. Now, to be fair, it's not the strongest group uh, in the round of 32. But seriously, taking down Ample straight up. And then, I mean, as straight up as you can get in a ZVZ on Arkanoid destroys art user. Uh, so fantastically done by Fengji. This is really exciting to get him into that next round. He will be playing in the round 16. GG.